I'm Zach Bagans, paranormal investigator, collector of the macabre, and aficionado of black clothing. I opened a haunted museum in Las Vegas, creatively titled Zach Bagans Haunted Museum. Today I'm receiving a new donation to the museum, an allegedly possessed object that is so deadly that the current owner cannot bear to live with it any longer. My name is Mildred and I'm from Yazoo City, Mississippi. I'm hoping that Zach can take the sidem off my hands and rid me of the hail that has become my life since obtaining it. Hi, Mildred. Thank you for coming. Hi. So what have you brought for us today? I need your help. I bought this item at my local Goodwill and I was taken with its charm, but ever since I bought it, my life has been in shambles. Wow, I'm sorry to hear that. What sort of things have been happening? It started with bad dreams and headaches, but then I started having very dark thoughts. I wanted to hurt my husband. Wow, well, you have piqued my interest, Mildred. Are you ready to show us what it is? All right, but be warned, you are about to face an unspeakable evil. Oh, God, is that... Is that the Devil's Egg Beater? The what? The Devil's Egg Beater is thought to be possessed by demonic forces. It was passed around from owner to owner, leaving a path of destruction in its wake. Its whereabouts have been unknown since the 70s. And do, do you think that this could be it? After what you just told me, I think it is. I couldn't believe this notorious kitchen item had made it into my museum. I am now the owner of the world's most dangerous egg beater. Legend has it that the demon that possesses this egg beater is a cockatrice, which is a two-legged dragon with the head of a rooster. Oh my word, you, you know, every time I use this egg beater, I get so sad just, just watching those little eggs get, get whipped into oblivion. Could this demon cockatrice be out for revenge against all who consume eggs and chicken? I had to check in with Mildred's husband, Daryl, to find out more. Daryl, what are some of the strange things that have happened to Mildred since she bought this egg beater? Can, can we cover it up? I, I don't like looking at it. Of course. Aaron? You look really cool today, Zach. I know. It seems that even looking at this egg beater can get a reaction out of people. We'll be selling note cards with images of the Devil's Egg Beater for $14.99 in our museum gift shop. Daryl, are you ready to talk? I reckon. Tell me. One day I, I came home from work and, and I'd stop by the Chick-fil-A to, to get Mildred and I some of them spicy deluxe sandwiches. Normally Mildred loves them spicy deluxe sandwiches, but, but she saw that bag in my hand and she came at me with that that whirly gig and done near took my face off. Wow, I've got goosebumps. Aaron, are you getting my goosebumps? I've got them, Zach. Another time we were making love and, and she started a, a hooting and a hollering and clucking like a chicken. Clucking? Well, I never see nothing like it. Mildred don't act that way. After hearing the startling information, I realized I needed to call in reinforcements. I've brought in psychic Patty Negri to help us. Oh, there is a terrible, terrible force here. Cockatrice, are you here with us? Why do you want to hurt Mildred? Are you mad at anyone who eats chicken or eggs? What? What was that, honey? Sweetheart.
Bernard, are you okay? Oh, Daryl. Oh, it's awful. There was feathers and, and blood everywhere. The spirit is still here. Oh, whoa. Something is happening to me, guys. Are you gonna rage, dude? Oh, I feel like I want to punch Colonel Sanders in the face. Okay, okay. Let's not do that. is cut. <sighs> I don't know what just happened to me, man. Bro, I haven't seen you that mad in days. <laughs> it's okay. The demon is no longer with you. Let's go home, honey. I want to thank you for coming, Mildred, and here's a complimentary t-shirt. Time will tell if the demon cockatrice has truly left Mildred. As I felt its spirit pass into my body, I briefly felt the rage of a million chickens that have been slaughtered. At last, the devil's egg beater will be in a secure facility where it can be monitored and studied. That facility? Zach Bagan's Haunted Museum. I think even the skeptics watching this episode today can agree that there are spirits among us.